I'm Ramya, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Davos. Sometimes, customers ask me how to troubleshoot an AWS DMS task that is failing with the error message, error, cancelling statement due to statement timeout. Let me walk you through the troubleshooting steps and resolution. After signing into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the DMS Console. Choose the DMS task that failed. and then scroll down and choose View Logs. This redirects you to Amazon CloudWatch Logs for the task. I prefer to use text over the default row option for readability. Look for errors in the AWS DMS task with the filter E colon. We can see that the latest error message on the task states, cancelling statement due to statement timeout. First, we will identify which statement failed to execute due to the timeout. In this case, a table failed to truncate with the given timeout settings in place. AWS DMS uses the execute timeout extra connection attribute in both the source and target endpoints. The default value for execute timeout is 60 seconds. So AWS DMS times out if a query takes longer than 60 seconds to execute. Issues such as locking, blocking, stale table statistics, and tables without primary key or unique key, causing DMS to do a full table scan during ongoing replication and so on, could cause long query execution times. You might want to identify why a specific statement is taking more than 60 seconds to execute, and then increase the timeout value if needed. Depending on the logging component, where the error message occurred, source or target, you might want to add this extra connection attribute in either source or target endpoint. Go to the AWS DMS task and find the corresponding AWS DMS Postgres endpoint. Choose endpoints from the navigation pan. Choose the name of your Postgres endpoint. Choose actions and then select modify. Expand the Endpoint Specific Settings section. In the field for extra connection attributes, enter the following value. Execute timeout. Choose Save. From the Endpoints pane, choose the name of your PostgreSQL endpoint. From the Connection section, the status of the endpoint changes from testing to successful. Whenever any modification is performed to the existing endpoint, AWS DMS automatically initiates a connection testing. We can now restart the task. There is another scenario where you might receive a timeout error in the AWS DMS task with PostgreSQL as source. For a task configured with ongoing replication, AWS DMS needs to create a replication slot on the source database to collect the changes. In PostgreSQL, the replication slot cannot be created on the database if there are any active transactions. This means that the task can fail with a timeout error if the slot creation is not completed within the stipulated threshold. If the timeout occurred when AWS DMS tried to create replication slot in the PostgreSQL database, you see log entries similar to the following. This timeout during replication slot creation was a non-configurable value for AWS DMS versions older than 3.1.3 with a default value of 60 seconds. For AWS DMS version 3.1.3, this timeout is increased to a default of 600 seconds, that is 10 minutes. For AWS DMS version 3.1.4, you can increase this timeout by configuring the transaction consistency timeout parameter in the task settings section. If the source is very busy and if you cannot find a window to start the AWS DMS tasks successfully with the default timeout, then you might want to consider increasing this timeout. Go to the corresponding AWS DMS task. Click Actions. Modify. You can only modify a task that is not currently running. If the task is running, you might want to stop to be able to modify the task. Go to Advanced Task Settings.
transaction consistency timeout seconds and change the timeout value as needed. Choose save and then restart the task. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.